We're sending our best wishes out to Rage Against the Machine bassist Tim Comerford, who recently revealed in a new interview with Spin that he's battling prostate cancer. Comerford revealed he received the diagnosis before the Rage Against the Machine reunion tour and actually had his prostate removed just two months before the summer tour. He told them, I've been someone that's taken a lot of pride in being in shape and taking care of myself, but it's something where either you're either lucky or not. He said, you can find yourself in a situation like I'm in where it's like, fuck, my whole life changed. With everything that happens to me now, I wonder, am I feeling this way because I have cancer? Am I losing my hair because I have cancer? Whatever it is, it makes me wonder if it's happening because I have cancer. And prostate cancer is a very, very tough one because it's connected to your sexuality. It's hard to disconnect from that and when you're forced into that situation, it's a brutal psychological journey. I've been trying to find support groups and it's hard to find people and it's hard to talk about it. The suffering part of it, the physical suffering after the surgery, I've never felt pain quite like that. I have metal plates in my head and cadaver parts in my body. I've done a lot of damage through sports and mountain biking and this sort of thing and I've always felt like I had a really high tolerance for pain and that shit brought me to my knees. After the pain went away, I still haven't really been able to get up even though I'm working out and doing shit, but psychologically the damage is severe. It's very hard for me not to break down and get emotional. Asked about how he learned of his diagnosis, Tim said, I went to get life insurance, but my PSA numbers were up. I couldn't get it. They wouldn't insure me. At first, the numbers was very low, like one point something. I watched it over the course of a year and a half and it kept elevating further. Eventually they did a biopsy and found out I had cancer. So they took my prostate out. I had been thinking, well, because they're watching it and let it get to this point, maybe it's not that big of a deal. I blame myself. I should have said, my numbers are elevated and what does that really mean? I should have taken it more seriously. I should have looked into alternate therapy instead of getting sucked into the most disgusting capitalistic machine on the face of the planet the medical establishment. Now I'm in the situation that I'm in, which is hold your breath for six months. It's not a good one and not one that I'm happy about. I'm just trying to grab hold of the reins. It's going to be a long journey, I hope. My dad died in his early 70s from cancer and my mom died from cancer in her 40s. Split the difference to 65 and I've got 10 years. I'm trying to get to the 100 song mark. I have some goals now. Songwriting has become a catharsis for me. Prostate cancer is a type of cancer that affects the prostate, a small gland in the male reproductive system. It's one of the most common types of cancer in men, and it is most prevalent in men over the age of 50. We're wishing Tim Comerford nothing but the best as he courageously battles cancer. It says a lot about him as a person that he made sure he was performing on this Rage Against the Machine reunion tour that had been so highly anticipated for so long. Hopkins Medicine recommends that men at the age of 55 begin screening for prostate cancer and between the ages of 40 and 54 if you have at least one relative who has had prostate cancer. Thanks for tuning into Rockfeed. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out the recommended video up on your screen.